handbrake works well. So this is an issue. Today is its final day. Goes straight to the scrapyard. The bin is like jelly. I think it was time for a new one. Good morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell, ring it. Videos every Tuesday and Friday in the odd occasion. Sometimes we do Sunday videos. In today's video, what's happening? What is going on? So everyone has known how long, well, you might not, if you're new to the channel, you might not have known. I've always wanted a truck. What I would like is a Ford Ranger 3.2 litre powerhouse, something I could pull the trailer with, something I could do stuff like that with. And obviously YouTube is, um, I'm generating a bit of money from YouTube now, which is great, it's fantastic. I really do appreciate everyone watching this video. I, I, um, I'm very thankful for you watching the video. So what I've decided to do, what, 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 what's happening? I'm taking the plunge and I've decided to invest in the farm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going Ford Ranger. I am being sensible, I am being a clever Tom and I'm trying to put myself forward and trying to think about the future of the farm, think about the future of myself on the farm. So, um, so what we're doing is we are going to say goodbye to our old feed bin. We had this feed bin, it was second hand when we bought it. Uh, we've had it here probably about eight years, I think. And it's just becoming a bit, a bit tired, a bit tired, let's say. You can see that we've um, gaffer taped the top of this to here. I actually ran into this, probably had it about two years and I cracked, where did I crack it? There's a repair somewhere, is it here? Might have cracked it there. The handle broke on it. I did a video on my Instagram three months ago, you'll see it. This picture was of dad who, when he shut this, he didn't shut it all away and the cake all came to here and it went everywhere. That was because this has holes in it and what happens is it gets wet inside and then the cake doesn't come out really well. It comes out a bit rubbish and uh, it's just a bit of a nightmare. So, and it also has a hole up there somewhere. Can we see? Can we see? <laughs> I think you can see. On, on there somewhere, it has a hole up there. It has a few holes going with it. It's done us really well. We've never used a bin before this. We just used to tip it in the silo clamp and have a corner and put a sheet over it. So we got a bin just to uh, buy a security. The other one was, so we didn't waste as much when it did rain, because it does rain here, if you didn't know. It used to use loads and used to waste loads. I've spoken to a company who's literally about 20 minutes away from our farm. So it works really, really well. Collinson silos, Collinson feed bins are going to come and put a feed bin up for us, which is really, really good. And they're going to take this away. So I'm making this video now. It's Monday today. They're taking it away Thursday morning. They're taking this one away. And then we've got to put a new concrete pad down here. We've got to put it a bit bigger. We've had the drawings done for it. It's going to be 3.2 meters and it's going to be 200 mil higher than that side. And then what's going to happen is what we're going to do is we're going to have a leg this side. So the legs are actually going to be that side, which is going to be great, but the bin is still going to come over. So we're not going to have the issue of trying to avoid this one. We're I mean, it's going to work really well. I hope so anyway. You can also see the other issue we've had with it is that we've strapped this bin to our side here. No one's ever noticed that. And the feet are just getting a little bit, what you could say is tired. Just a, just a, just a bit tired. It's in the wrong side and we've caught it a few times. It's live, it's done well. So it's been here for eight years and it's just time to swap. The good thing about the new feed bin, I was talking about swaying, it's gonna have a really wide base. So it's less likely to sway and they say it's gonna last 35, 40 years. It's gonna last forever. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be like one of the first things that I am gonna be investing into the farm. I chat to a few people. Collinson's with the way to go and uh, we've worked it out together so I'm well excited for this little bit of a step forward what we were calling it in the house when I chatted to mum and dad and said that I would like to invest in this and I'd like to put my money towards this uh, we we're going to call it my Ford Wildtrack Collinson's feed bin that's what we're going to call it Tom's pickup truck feed bin because one day I might be able to get myself something a pickup truck a truck or uh, some sort I'm just still rocking the smart car but um yeah, you're gonna see us what we're gonna do. We need to tidy up obviously around here to take the bin away, pour some concrete, and then new bin's gonna get erected. Very exciting stuff, very cool stuff and for me to do, and it's very it's a step forward for me on the farm at Pemberton's. Let's get tidying today and a bit of tomorrow. Boom. Day two of Tom clearing out the absolute mess hole around the feed bin. Bit, bit. Yesterday he tied a little bit. Today we're gonna to tidy a little bit more. It's cold today. Definitely cold. I can't remember if I mentioned it in yesterday's video or yesterday's part. 
But I rung up a scrap dealer and was like, what's the price of scrap at the moment? He said, you have to pay to get rid of it. And that is not happening. We are not paying to get rid of scrap. We are waiting until scrap price goes up again. We will store it next to the shed. When we need to use it, we'll pick it out then. Sounds like a better plan to me. What is good and what is bad? That, good cheetah bar. Always need cheetah bar. Never know when you need a midget cake. Definitely work better than I thought it was gonna work. Yes, please. This is pretty good. Look at that, it's got strong joints there. That's all strong. It's only this bit of net matching that's not very good. We could probably find a job for this. But then, I haven't used it for five years at least, and that's just me guessing. I, I can't not remember the last time I would have used this. It just seems a waste. I kinda don't wanna throw it away. While they are put it in the scrap pile, but we'll definitely be picking it up again to actually scrap it. If I want to use it then, we'll do it. I think it's too good to waste. A lot of you are going to be watching this and being like, Tom, throw it away. That is the farmer in you to not throw things away. Get rid of it. I, I, don't think, I think it looks pretty good. What's the chance of me rolling it in here? Oh. Handbrake works well. Is that going to work or not? See, as you can see, didn't work. Had to take the bucket off. We're now running. Am I going to fit through this gap? If I don't fit through this gap, I'm be so mad. Too good to go in the scrap, that, for me. I don't know what you're going to say in the comment section. It's far too good to the scrap pile. I have a feeling I'll be pulling it back out. You're okay. Yeah. An extra thick one, that. Jeez. Woo. That's 11. Come back for the rest, yeah? Manhole. I remember when I made that video saying sucking a manhole out because we're using the tanker and we were actually sucking a manhole out, if you get it. Got flagged up on YouTube, didn't it? Yep. I didn't think. One. Yeah. New drain, exciting stuff. Bet he mentioned about grass. While we're here, we'll just see where we, even though it's not rain, just look where the grass seed is coming through. It's a bit down this way. Growing. And you look down, it's got how It's all coming through, isn't it? It's all coming through. How long ago is that now? Two weeks? Well, at least two, three, nearly three weeks. But it's not rain. This is lap water. But the ones that got buried just a bit that have been rolled in are all right. These, eventually, they will strike. They will take. That's if crows don't eat. We'll have a walk around one day. Yeah. We'll just check the middle of the field one. All right. Yep. Told you to mention grass seeds. Was this one Loves dry it. as well? It's yeah, all dry. So now what we're going to do is, we've cleaned up around the back, so we've cleaned up here pretty well. I've got to move the black thing, I've got to move those, I'll do that in a minute. Well, the big job is 
to empty this full of cake. I'll show you a good reason why we are changing bins. People go, well, it's a great bin, you don't need to. Well, I'll show you why. I need to empty everything that's in this bin. And I don't actually know how much is in here. The problem is, being empty of no cake, I'm gonna find a place for to put the cake. So we call this cake, it's actually meal. It's like a blend of stuff. Bit in the feeder. And then I'm gonna put the rest in the corner over there. Cleaned it up and uh, make it tidy. So, full enough. 200 kilos. Depending how much is in this bin, this could take a long time. So you're saying, why don't you just put it on the floor and then scoop it out? And I did think that. The legs are in the way. That's not that far away. And make more mess than it's worth. And there might only be three buckets loads, hopefully. More than a thought. This is an issue as well. <clears throat> so when you put your hand in, you've got all that stuff at the side of it. So that is wet, mouldy meal. Because it's got holes in it. Have you ever had a second hand bit if you haven't had to smack it by the side? No. It's definitely not empty. Loads of that. Waste because technically we bought that now it's gone wet and it's rubbish and it stinks. So, there's a big chunk here. Big chunk. I cannot believe how much meal there was in there. And there's more. I am tempted to cut the bottom off and see what's in. We're not gonna do that. Right, we're gonna do what we used to do before we had the bin. We've nearly cleaned 0.1% of the farm. We have done so well today. And um, these gloves didn't last very long, but they're on. That needs moving away. That is a special thing. That that, that, that pole is very special there. It keeps this gate open. It's, it, it's a very important pole. A lot of people will have on farms important poles, important pieces of string, or important just a chain that just works. It might look a mess, but that's there for a reason. That's doing a good job. You stay, stay there. But yeah, last one, then we're moving this. <laughs> Tripping up. An old molasses tank. It has some molasses in it, but I think it's probably gone a bit knackered. Try and feed it. Surely it's gone a bit gross. So we might just tip it in the middle and tip it in the slurry, let it mix away and go. Last part load. Yep. It's amazing, Dad was just chatting before. Obviously this bin's going tomorrow. When you've got something to go or you've got something to do, it kind of makes you clean an area. So now this area's clean. We've got to put some more concrete down, we know. But this area is ready for, well, it's not ready. It's ready to be taken away. I'm ready for concrete to put in your bin. And uh, hopefully over the summer, we're gonna do a lot of that this year. That's my idea. Anyway, it's my plan over time. Whoa, wait there. Yeah, that's just enough. You don't want to hit the tap. Random piece of wood that I use to smack my bin. So I do this to it. It's hard to do it one handed and you can hear it. Because the cake gets stuck. I'm excited. Tomorrow is a new day. Five bin. Looks 
It's ten times better when it's nice and clear on there, isn't it? Yes, it does. The day has come, so we couldn't get any more cake out and uh, concerts have just turned up eight o'clock. Bang on when they said, that is what I want in my life. So they're taking the bin away and then we're gonna look at the concrete pad. But uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool with the bin actually leaving. This is the, the main thing, the bin leaving, the bin going. Look how good that space looks, by the way. Nice, clean, tidy. Like you say, I do need to work on most of my phone. Today is its final day. Going straight to the scrapyard. See ya. Happy? Happy there. Chain done, happy Victor. Victor has ladders, helmet, all the gear. And he's uh, just taking straps off for me. Saves me doing it. What a nice guy. <laughs> a bit wobbly. Like a jelly, yeah. The bin is like jelly. I think it was time for a new one. I think it was time for a new one. Hey. Size up around the side. Cleaned up the slabs. Cleaned up the molasses tank. Don't know if that's any good. Bolts are off. Straps are off. Time to see if she'll move and how much cake is in there. Victor did say if there's a lot of cake in there, what will happen is it won't move very well. So fingers crossed there's not a lot of cake in there because A, there's a cost in there, and B, we want it to move nice and smoothly. That's how we want it to go. Oh, the door's still open and still in cake. She's on. The feed bin has gone. The truck and bin has gone. It will be like empty. The yard will be free. All that was past couple of days prepping this, getting ready to go. And it's there. It's on. It's funny to look at it from the, the sky, obviously. Wonder. Go inside. Go inside. Victor absolutely smashed it. So easy when you've got the gear. Seamless, as father said. When it was going down, didn't you sad say? Seamless. Seamless, easy. It's what we want our life to be. Nice and easy. When everything you touch turns gold, I was made for this. So, there it is. The feed bin has gone. Look how much space there is. So much room for activity. Sign up some dodgy silo there. Meal. Dodgy meal. Dodgy meal. Um, excited. We need to put some concrete down. We need to do a little bit of work around here. Obviously, uh, we need to make sure it's secure to the ground. Don't want to spend a new bin that fall over. And um, that's our next plan. We need to raise it up, pour concrete, make sure it's tied in there and lots of jobs. And then it's going to come. So the feed bin is going to come in about a month. We need to make sure that's down and ready and set. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. It's very exciting for me, my first investment into the farm on my personal cash. And it's all helped you guys watching the YouTube videos. Thank you very much for that. It's, it's great. So we can see the uh, YouTube job progressing and uh, bringing new kit to the farm. Guys, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We will see you in a few weeks due to the feed bin. But I 
we'll see you in the next one see you in a bit bye